The Stoned Ape Theory. How magic mushrooms evolved our brain's consciousness. In 1992, a man named Terence McKenna, who was an ethnobotanist, which is defined as the study of plants that people use around the world. So, a plant studier. I don't even know if that's a word, but anyway, he wrote a book called Food for the Gods. And in this book, he talks about what he calls the stoned ape theory. And in this theory, he talks about how drugs that grow naturally sped up our evolution. He talks about how we evolved from the Homo erectus into what we are now, the Homo sapiens, with the use of psychedelic magic mushrooms. Yep, the same mushrooms Mike Tyson uses. The mushrooms that give you that trippy trip to see all types of shit. Yep, those fantastic fungi. So what makes these mushrooms different from the ones that your mom uses to make your spaghetti with? Well, these mushrooms contain psilocybin, which is a hallucinogenic substance. And this theory says that this psilocybin substance took the Homo erectus and transformed us into the Homo sapiens that you see today. And then once we started eating these mushrooms, we started talking. Because when you are high, you start talking. And then we started formulating words. And then we started formulating sentences. Like, man need water, cotton mouth. Man kill bear and make nice outfit. Man skin alligator, make fresh kicks. Then we ate some more shrooms and we started drawing pictures and shit on the walls and on the rocks. We started drawing lions, tigers, bears, and rhinos. And we were popping these shrooms and we were creating early Van Goghs on these walls and rocks and stuff. And, and the cave women and the kids were mesmerized looking at these paintings like they were art at an art museum. And then we ate even more mushrooms and we started thinking. Thinking things like, man, it would be so nice if I had a hammer right now. Hey you, grab me that stick over there and that rock and some string. And bam, the hammer was made. Then he was like, hey Billy. You know, we started creating names now because we were high. And you know, instead of just saying, hey you, we started coming up with names. So he was like, hey Billy. Uh, hand me that piece of wood. I'm about to make a club. You get it? The Billy Club? So, you're probably asking the question, how did we get the mushrooms? Well, back millions of years ago, we started off as hunters. And while we were eating shrooms, high as fuck, we started thinking of what animal can we feed whole tribe on. You know what animal that is? You guessed it. Wild cows. Or what you call beef. So we started hunting them, killing them, and feeding the tribe. And everybody's eating, everybody's happy. And then after a handful of more shrooms, we started to think it's kind of stupid to just hunt them. Let's capture the cows and breed them and keep them and raise them so we can eat them and also make some killer caveman leather coats for the wintertime. 
So we started capturing and raising cattle and killing them to feed the tribe and opening up coat stores like Burlington Coat Factory back, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of years ago. And one thing that we learned about cows is they take dumps all day long and they got flies all around them, all, you know, all the time and shit. And in these dumps grew mushrooms and they picked these mushrooms out of the doo-doo. And when you hear people say these mushrooms are the shit, that's where it comes from. And they probably didn't know that these are magic mushrooms at first. They just thought that they could add it to the menu. So then they started cooking beef tips with mushroom gravy over potatoes. Not knowing that it was going to get them sky high. They thought it was just going to give them a little bit of seasoning. So they perfected growing the mushrooms and eating them like they were candy. And they started tripping and dancing and having sex and orgies and creating religions. And people started studying stuff and becoming scientists and starting different cultures. And we evolved. So this is what the Stone Ape Theory is all about. And hundreds of thousands of years ago, our brains doubled in size. And we evolved quickly because of the magic mushrooms that we ate. So a lot of people said that this theory is not true. And a lot of people embraced this theory. And a lot of people didn't support this theory. And some people called this way too simple with no evidence and an unprovable theory. I want to know what you think. Do you think that we were evolved by eating mushrooms? Do you think that this is a start of human consciousness? Or do you even think we evolved or lived million years ago? Let me know what you think below. Please leave me your comments in the comment section. And let's get this conversation going. And like and share and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Wild Shh.